Hey guys, uh, day four in Broken Hill, and today we're going to go with my friend Eric and explore all the sightseeing places around here. See you there. So, uh, Alice, po kami ngayon mag explore po kami in Broken Hill. So, napaka windy po dito. So I don't think so we can fly our drone because of the weather. It's really windy, but let's see how it feels later on. Because according to the Google, it's gonna be fine around 12. Yeah. Jump in! So, ayan nga tayo guys, no? Alright. You wanna get your um, jumper? And uh, I'll wait, I'll wait till later. If it's in the back. Coffee muna tayo, no? As in guys, malamig po today. So let's see if we can fly the drone today. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Pero yun na nga no, malamig po ngayon. So, kailangan natin to. Tingnan, tingnan mo yung paano natin. No? Naka long neck. Long sleeve. Long neck ba ang tawag dyan? So, meron po kaming tour guide. His name is Eric. His friend with John. Yeah. Eric, can you wave the camera? She's doing video. Hello. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Move, Mister. We're moving now, guys. Mining is at the core of Broken Hill's past, present and future. The township formed here after Charles Rask came across an interesting mineral deposit in 1883. Little did he know, he had just stumbled upon one of the largest zinc, silver, lead mineral deposits on the planet. So that's 
Is that town? Good day. Yeah, it's broken hill. It's broken hill. Yeah, we're definitely not putting the drain up. Yeah. Not in this wind. It'll, it'll be gone. You wanna come in here? Hey? Where? Where? Because I'm. See? Is it moving? There's no train. Yeah, there's, there is. I didn't see. Ah, there, there. Yeah. Where this? Yeah, yeah, on a chain down deep underground. Oh. They're like elevators. Scared. So take a photo there. Yeah. What are these? these? These are other people that died here. Ah, yeah. the names. Yeah. Died the because name. of the mining? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They died for the name, what year, how old they were. Mm.
cool spot. Yeah. And over there, it's a Okay. Is that that water? Mm. Yeah, it's water. Yeah, they're going to suppress it all so it doesn't keep the dust down. Mm, okay. Is that all coal there? Look at that one. A little lead thing. Tilings. Yeah. guys here is our second destination for today Clive the shop medical center and I'll show you okay visitor center Bruce Langford let's get inside Souvenir information. Souvenirs. Information. Yeah. Oh, nice clothes here. Yeah, this is the this is a souvenir shop. What are you after, John? Oh, that's nice. nice mm. Mm. Maybe I can find a bag. Oh, green. Let me have a look. Oh, that's too big for me. Yeah. 65. Yeah, they're all too big. That's for men's. Yeah. Oi. It's for lady? Mm. This 57. Mm. Look after most of the estate. As do the Victorian and the Tasmanian section. But our section, the southeastern section, we actually cross a few boundaries. We go from the southwest Queensland, we look after all of New South Wales, occasionally, which is all far too late. So Reverend Fim's wondering how he's going to overcome this problem. And he's actually sent a very detailed draft of document from a young Victorian medical student. Now his name was Clifford Peel. Clifford in those early days had a vision of flying aircraft, but in particular he wanted to fly the doctors and the nurses out to these remote areas. And you'd sit down as if you're riding your bicycle, you pedalled away. <laughs> and rather noisily, that created about 200 volts DC, which enabled you to do Morse code. And later, uh, he was able to develop it with different radios, including this one here, with a different style of radio that people had in their outback homesteads. So if they had an emergency, uh, they could call into our communications room where there was two of these consoles. People were taking the emergency calls. Now, you may recall some years back, we had telegrams and teleprinters. So if someone did live two, three hundred kilometres away on an outback property, rather than the poor old telegram boy having to ride his bicycle out to deliver that telegram, <laughs> we would read it to them over the airways. 28, from Clon Curry out to Julia Creek, it took an hour and a half to fly them. Today, our aircraft would be there in about 15 to 16 minutes. More importantly, he took along a doctor, Dr Kenyon St Vincent Welsh, and on that day he performed two surgeries at a nursing home, so that was the birth of the flying doctors. But here in 88, before we moved out here at the airport, to have all our infrastructure together. Now, some of you may have come across this building. It's on the Broken Hill to Wilcannia Road, about five or six kilometres out of town. It's now known as Outback Astronomy. So people go there in the evening and learn all about the stars. Now, over here, you can see where Mum must have been a bit tired. Uh, you can see she had the daughter doing the pedal power generator. Just for you guys joining, what would happen, just like this girl is, she'd sit down and pedal away. That created 200 volts DC, and you could do Morse code. But here it's been further developed. It's a, a radio telephone. But traditionally, it was the lady of the homestead that did the emergency calls. Uh, people were taught Morse code. But what you're finding in an emergency code, down below, there's a radio here that involves two whistles. Just to explain how this would work, if you had an emergency, you'd engage that handpiece, pick up that small whistle, blow into the whistle for four seconds, have a three second break, pick up that larger whistle, blow into the whistle for six seconds. Now what that would do, just with the two different tones of the whistles, you could remotely turn the mother station on. Hey, Victor Lima, Wentworth Station in Northern New South Wales, calling VJC World Flying Doctor Service, Broken Hill. I need urgent help. Over. This is VJC Broken Hill. Go ahead, Wentworth Station. 
What's the problem? Uh, I tracked it up over from my husband. He was caught under it. He's in a lot of pain. Over. What's your name? Uh, my name is Margaret, or Maggie. Uh, my husband's name is Ben. Over. Okay, Maggie. Now, you just stay calm. We're here to help you. Where is your husband now? Uh, well, the boys and I got him out from under the tractor and carefully carried him to the view. He's in bed now, but he's going to something awful. Over. <coughs> is he conscious? Is he, is he awake? Over. Uh, yes, he's awake. Right. Tell me where Ben is hurting. Over. Uh, I think it's 6 and D. It's hurting both back and front on his left side. Over. How is his breathing? Does it seem to be normal or is it layman? Over. Well, um, normal, I suppose, between the grinds. Over. So you can see here, Reverend Flynn now found it. The camel that he and his padres are riding, the compass they were using to find their way around. There's the victory, the very first aircraft that flew from Cloncurry to Julia Creek. There's that pedal powered generator that Alf Trager designed. And here we have a body chart. Now that body chart would have seen Maggie referring to it. So that was actually a very, very simple tool which our staff do still use today. Now, this, and here again, the lady doing the pound radio. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is this outback scene that you can see here. This is a property that's about 170 kilometres north of Broken Hill. It's called the Velt. It's some tiny little text, some tiny little words. Now, those words, they're generally about 900 metres to 1.2 kilometres long. As you can see, they're dirt, gravel, gravel. Uh, bigger communities like Broken Hill, uh, commercial style airstrips, sections of highways throughout Australia, particularly across the Nullarbor. A section off that we yeah, can actually right. get, yeah, about 17 or 18, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we can actually land down onto the road. Now, what would have happened here when the pilot. Hey guys, this is our yeah, third we'll stop. We'll so we're here at Milk, Milky, Milky Shake Thing. John, where are you going? Going home. Oh, this is nice. Mm, look at this. Yeah. Where we sit here? Yeah. Oh, record player. So this is Bill's Milk Bar. Kitchen, no, you're not allowed. Oh, so this okay. old kitchen. Look, the old TV. Can I get in? Yeah. Can I open? No, so it's the old. It's just display. Yeah. So here the old. Ano nila o? It's nice, honey. Look, it's nice if. Well, hold on. It's nice if you know our thing there. Yeah. We have to put like this yeah. instead of the. That's what they used to have. Yeah. In, instead of maybe so I might. I'll see you there. Instead of the. Okay, so at, at least that. we can um, oh, put yeah. a lot. Let's get yeah. outside and show you around. Yeah. yeah.
What's up in here? What's that? Hello, Jack. <coughs> no, Jack's Who's Jack? Jack's dead. Jack's dead. <laughs> Poor Jack. Is this a cabin? Yeah. We can stay here too. I'll leave you here. Two of you. If you get drunk. <laughs> if you two get drunk. <laughs> we wouldn't do that. Mm. You know, BHP the mining company? Yep. Hey? You know, BHP the mining company? Yeah. This is about. We can get started here. Mm, it's silent in Silver, Silverton. Where? Birthplace of BHP. What? Okay. What is that? July 16th. Cheers. 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 They were donkeys? Yeah. They're horses. Asses. Asses. Oh, they're friendly. Another bike. Hi. Hello. Is it, if this is a John Dinan Gallery. Yeah, okay, that's it. Oh well. So this is Eric Pub. That's right. Well, so actually it's right. shut today. Hey guys, we're here at John's Mate. Okay. Uh, here in Broken Hill. So Monday, it's shut. So kaya sarado. Tignan niyo po yung paligid, palibot. Ayan. Nakapatong po yung mga silya. Kasi sarado po sila pag Monday. It's, it's a big one. It's really big. Oh, there is also outside. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then you whisper it there. Yeah. So you serve also food? Or just yeah. drink? Food? Yeah. Oh, you, you do cooking? Yeah, Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, There we go, come out. It's windy outside. Oh wow. Ang ganda naman. Ang ganda. Kaso nga lang malamig. Tara, balak, balik tayo sa loob. Malamig po, kaya balik tayo sa loob. It's windy. Everybody's <laughs> up. It's, it's so 
Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. You need a live band. Oh, really? Live band. <laughs> and the karaoke, <laughs> karaoke machine. <laughs> Wow, is there a snake? Yes. Sometimes? Or, oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last Visit. One. John was here, this is all dirt. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. So, did you do this or someone? Yeah, we had someone come in the building. Wow, that's nice. Sorry, that's probably the next one. Yeah, okay. See? This is the distillery. Oh, wow. Isn't it nice? Wow. You do this one too? Yeah. You own? Yeah. You're amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, Chardonnay. Oh. Hello. It's really it's nice. Four of them. Yeah, it's awesome. So how did you learn all of these things? YouTube. <laughs> See? Yeah. 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 See? This is just... This, this is just your... Happy and it turned business, isn't it? Yeah, my brother Paul's the main guy at here now. I've got other things to run, but yeah. Paul makes all the gin these days. Mm-hmm. 99.9% .9 of the time. So, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of work involved. Inside, outside. Running it. So how many years you do this? Legally? Yeah. Four years. Oh wow. So business is good. Very good. Yeah. Lots of awards as well. Yeah, it's 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 nice. Lots of awards. It's nice. Oh, look at that. Gene. This so this is a different type of gene. Yeah. So it's the yeah. spirit of out of of the outback. Yeah, red gum honey and condom. The oh. one's apple bush. That next one's Rosemary River Mint bottle seed. Rosemary R River Mint. Oh. That's 6.45. It's twice a day in Broken Hill. You got 6.45. You got the All right. explosion. So what is the, yeah. what is the, um, what do you call it? The most strong gene? Strong. It's stronger. Ah, uh, that's the strong. Ah, okay. Yeah, back strength. Yeah, back strength of one to the. The Chardonnay barrel. Yeah. Oh, the Far wow. West Gin is a classic dry. And the Re Remembrance Gin, that's a rosemary that we do for Legacy fundraiser every year. Every year? Yeah. Oh, wow. We make $10,000 a year. Oh, my God. There's, there's a lot. Yes, you go. So you, if, if someone asks, like, you, do you do do you do cocktail as well? No. No. Oh. Tasting petals. Oh. Tasting petals. All the flavors in the gin, you don't need to yeah. pour other things into it. Oh. Unless you put tonic water or stuff like that. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Oh, you're hearing that voice. You're feeling this for the first time. Just... What's that? Yeah. <laughs> So how do you get the this Ooh. one out? I mean to put yeah. in a in a bottle. With a hose. Mm. Oh. Siphon it out. So you put the hose yeah. in there? Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
boil the botanicals in here. Heat this up. The alcohol is lined by water, so water drops. The alcohol vapor goes through. You have your limes and junipers and that cetera is in there. This is your condenser. Condens so it cools it, the alcohol down from 95 to 30 degrees, so it becomes a liquid again. Oh. It comes in here with the liquid. Drops into there. there. Wow. Vanilla, vanilla pod. Pine needles. Wow. Bush tomatoes. What is this? The angelica. Celery root. Yeah, it has a strong smell. Yeah. Mmm. This one. Mmm. This one, purple. Yes, what is this? So your cardamom brings the heat. And you get a hot, hot gin that's from your cardamom. Mm -hmm. Juniper will cool it down. Wow. <coughs> this smells this little thing. Mm. This one is oregano, coriander, organic coriander. Wow. Oh, I already, already okay. Maybe I can, maybe I can try a little bit. Yeah. So strong, you make. This is six percent. We're gonna have a sip on here. That we ready for two years is up in. June. Oh. Ah. Whiskey, eh? I don't want that to go for four or five years. Nah, I don't yeah. want. I need some pollutant, you know, appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> and then a singing machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I want to drink. Right tonight, <laughs> so, what's that? Um, what percentage of alcohol is that at the moment? 63. 63. Mm. Pretty strong. Yeah. That's barrel strength. Yeah. But, they are back in the 6.45, they're about 60. Present. Present. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thank you for the present. I might come back and buy a couple tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to get calming one. And, uh, yeah.